Howdy, brothers and sisters. Uh, I've been going through a lot here lately in the couple, last couple of days. Oh, it's cool outside, so it's why I'm in the house. Uh, and I want to I wanna speak on something today that was, it was spoken to me, and I've come to the assembly. You know, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to come to the assembly and let those that are spiritual look. Uh, and and see it, what's right or wrong. Okay, so uh, like I say I've been going through a lot of contentions here lately uh, on 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 social media, and also I I see it's entered my uh, uh, YouTube teaching site. Today I want to speak on uh, Paul teaches us to honor the customs of the weaker brethren. Now in this he speaks of different things. He speaks of food and he speaks of day. He speaks of a bunch of things. Um, he speaks of long hair. speaks of caps on or off, head covering or not. He speaks on uh, many of the customs of the weaker brethren. Uh, so Paul teaches to honor the customs of the weaker brethren. So if we see some of Paul's actions some things that he's doing within the written epistles and that they speak on his actions. If we see Paul, uh, some of Paul's acts within the scriptures, are those acts the act of honoring the weaker brethren? And if so, do we make them a part of the doctrine of our gospel, the doctrine of Christ? We must be able to look at and discern between Paul's actions and Paul's teachings. We've got to be able to do that. We've got to be able to look at the two. <coughs> and we must look at Paul's teachings to know doctrine. Not his actions. His teachings. We must never look at what Paul did and make doctrine out of it. We always need to go to his teachings. It's the same way with Jesus. We don't look at what Jesus did and make it doctrine in our gospel. I mean, you might not like that, but that's the truth. Because Jesus was under the law, so he did a lot of things that we, we don't do. It's the same way with Paul. Paul done some things that although they were deeds, they were not doctrine. Uh, I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians, what they call 11. But if any man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the churches of God. Now, above that, he's talking about head coverings and stuff like that. In other places, I think it's in Romans, he speaks about food and eating and herbs and meat and, you know, a, a lot of, and even in Acts, we see him rebuke Peter. So, but if any man seems to be contentious, contentious over what? These customs that were being, that had been brought into the house of the church of God. We don't have these contentions. We have no such customs, neither the churches of God. Now, in this, I declare, I praise not. Paul was upset. Paul was very upset about this issue in the church of Corinth, that ye come together not for the better, but for the worse. Why? For first of all, when we come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you. What was creating the divisions? The customs being brought in from all the different types of converts. You know, we just say Gentiles, but there was all kinds of, from people from all all different kind of, of races and creeds and customs, and they was coming in, and they was bringing part of their stuff in. First of all, when we come together in church, I hear there to be divisions over you, and the divisions was over these customs. And I partly believe it. <laughs> Well, Paul will be around today. He wouldn't partly believe it. <laughs> For there must be also heresies among you. These are heresies. These customs, Paul says, for because the customs are brought in, the division has become, and these and these are they're heresies. They're not our gospel. 
For there must be heresies among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. So, customs. Brothers and sisters, I'm just going to be honest with you, and I know that there's, there's one out there he don't he ain't going to like what I'm fixing to say. And there's probably a few other ones from that. It don't matter to me. If we look at scriptures, and we really look at scriptures, you'll find out some things that are actually customs of old being brought into new that has created divisions within the body of Christ. And Paul calls those things heresies. Why are they heresies? Because they are not taught in Paul's gospel, our gospel, the doctrine of Christ. And the sooner you can exercise your senses, which it tells us that we must do, the sooner that you exercise your senses and they become strong to discern what is good and what is evil, You'll recognize customs quick. And, and that's what we're in. And we all have to grow up in it. We all have to come into this understanding of these customs being brought in from old. So, and I'm not going to talk on the issue that I'm speaking of. Uh, <laughs> but we really need to understand this, okay? Just as we look at the acts of Jesus, the man, when he walked on this earth, you know there's many things that we see him doing that is not in our doctrine. He was under Mosaic law. And then we look at Paul, what we call our apostle. The one that God then chose to bring the message that been hidden all them before the foundation to the uncircumcised. That be us. Even as we looked at Jesus and we can't take every action he does and make it doctrine. We can't look at Paul either and make every action he does doctrine. We have to look at his teachings. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. This is a shorty tonight. This has been on me for a couple of days because I've been dealing with some very contentious people over customs. And if you want to know what a custom could be, you research the history and origin of the action or deed. When did it start? Where did it start? When was it first mentioned in scriptures? And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Search the truth out. God will show you. And in showing you, I guarantee you, He has promised you a peace. He's promised you a peace. But first, to get that peace. We need to have not just knowledge and understanding. I had a brother today. He said, if you just follow the Bible. Oh, I can't really. Wait a minute. Let me, let, me go, let me go pull it up. Let me pull it up. I don't want to misquote the brother. But he hit the nail on the head. I'm telling you. He hit the nail on the head when he said this. No, 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 no. Go there, <coughs> there. Uh, well, might be on the wrong thread here. I'll find it. Give me a moment. Let's go there.
Okay, I can't find it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna paraphrase it about the best I can. If we take what we see in the Word of God, the Bible, and we follow it and follow it alone. Without listening to the Spirit, we got problems. We got big issues. Uh, And if you think about it, if we read Bible, Scripture, and Scripture alone, without listening to the Spirit, we become Pharisees. I mean, that's just the bottom line of it. The Pharisees had all this knowledge, but they didn't have the Spirit speaking to them. That's what's good about the new and better covenant. We have the Spirit, but we're supposed to test Him, spirits. So, if if there's a lot of, and you know, this is the easy way to look at it. If you see it, uh, there's a lot of contention on an issue, uh, Trinity, Rapture, Baptism, uh, those are like the top three, I think. But any of them, if, if you see all this contention, there's there. do you know where them contentions come from? Now, if I was you, I would want to know the truth about each one of them issues. And that's when we go and we study the Word of God. Because we don't have, a, it's, Jesus in John 17 prayed for the unity of the saints. And that's what God wants. And I'm going to tell you, brothers and sisters, right now, very, very few in unity. They're out there. But very, very few are in unity. There's going to be a lot of saints it's going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Remember, Paul says we all need to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And you know they're going to be found guilty of the sin of being a contentious heart. They're going to be found of, of bringing something into our gospel. And in such, it's no longer our gospel, it's theirs. And what does it say about them people that don't, that bring it, that follow another gospel? It says they follow another Jesus. Why are they following another spirit? So I just wanted to bring that up and I'll close with a repeat of something. <laughs> Paul teaches us to honor the customs of the weaker brother. So if we see some of Paul's acts within the scriptures, are those acts the act of honoring a weaker brother? And if so, do we make them a part of the doctrine of our gospel? That answer is no. We must be able to look at and discern these actions. We must look at Paul's teachings to know doctrine, not his actions to know doctrine. Same way with Jesus. We can't look at his actions and make it doctrine. He was under the law. A lot of people are under customs. So I love y'all. Always praying for y'all. And I'll see y'all next time.